Olori Adironke have sent strong words to Olori Naomi. Hey, <laughs> my people. This one, whatsoever we call it, but these words are worth listening to. Because Olori Adironke came out boldly to say that whensoever she chooses to tell Olori Naomi the truth, they will say she's speaking out of desperation. They will say she's saying a lot of things. This time around again, she's going to speak, even if they say she's speaking out of desperation, she doesn't care. She doesn't care one bit. It is what it is that she's going to say. And she's going to talk to Olori Naomi concerning her safety in the palace. Hey, <laughs> Remember saying you never even reach one week where Olori Adiron can be come out to come tell Olori Naomi concerning the plans of Olori Miriam on top of her matter. Hmm. It never go far. She still they come out again to come tell her again that her safety inside the palace is not guaranteed. The same way her safety outside the palace was never for once guaranteed as long as she and Olori Miriam live it. And she's not telling her to hide the fact that she, Olori Aderonke, knows something about it. She's telling her openly so that she can know that no matter what happens, Miriam would not stop fighting her that's the fact that people get to say she's pretending because when she comes out to say that miriam when we know fully well that although we are the wrong care at her own end too will not stop fighting although we naomi that is where people get to say that she is pretending for my people though she said even if we say she's pretending even if we say she's a hypocrite even if she say we say she's finding a channel just to strike when they when they take off the whole attention of, of uh, her to Miriam, but she will tell Olori Naomi, pump and clear, in clear terms, that her safety in the palace is not guaranteed. Remember when the oldest woman of Ileife decided to speak on this matter, the woman said something. She said Olori Naomi should know that her return back into the palace, her safety and that of Prince Nikawa is completely in her hands. And no matter what she does, no matter what happens at the end of the day, even with the only in the palace only might not have anything to do with their safety she should know that because the only would have a lot of things on his hands and it will not be like he has given it negligence willingly he doubt those those things will happen unknowingly at his own end he will think he has done every single thing possible and when this woman said that Olori Naomi hopes she oh, Naomi is ready for the thing she would come back and face in the palace they meant she would face a lot of things they meant Olori Naomi would definitely face a lot of things and here we are today Naomi is seriously facing lots and lots of things as we speak my people no matter what happens though no matter what happens nothing nothing will change the fact that although in Naomi from this few days of her return back into the palace she has faced more than enough hey <laughs> so although we are the rock has come out to still remind her that although in Miriam will stop at nothing until she achieves whatsoever she wants to achieve although we marry and we keep on fighting her to the last day in fact she had no Maryam has verged that she'll go to the to the extreme end of this whole matter to see to it that she outruns Olori Naomi and Naomi got God that's one thing we know for sure Olori Naomi has God aside from Olori Naomi having God what does Olori Aderonke and now Miriam goes for they goes for Juju that is what they go for. Every single thing they are going for Juju, every single drop they are going for Juju. And as it stands right now, no, my people, we not even know waiting can be this woman's problem. When this whole Juju of a thing gets exposed, PAC himself will feel highly disappointed about it. He has never been proud for a single reason that his wives are being mentioned on Juju. Look at when they found Juju in the palace and Olori Aderonke had something to know about it. In fact, she had a lot to say about it. The only was highly disappointed. Yes, we could read the disappointment was on his face when he shook his head so much concerning Olori Aderonke. And you know, for that singular reason, it even warranted Olori Aderonke going to her home. That was when her mother went ahead to tell her how many wives are on father grandfather had but they never had issues they live together as a family and she's surprised at the reality that 
Only does not even have many wives. Only has less than 10 wives and what is happening in the palace. She doesn't like the fact that she keeps hearing her name every single day. That she's doing this, she's doing that. That was when she came back. My, my people right now know this woman has still come out again to say one or two to Olori Naomi. She's technically telling Olori Naomi in plain words that she and Olori and uh, Miriam are stopping at nothing. They will fight Olori Naomi with their last drop of blood. This whole thing put together would only tell us prophecies that came in you know that during this period of Olori Naomi's return back into the palace when Pastor Tibatan said they should not ignore the consequence of these things everybody dragged him that must he talk if he did not hear from God he should not bother saying any single thing you know all of these things put together they dragged him so much that Pastor Tibatan went on a break even making prophecies concerning Olori Naomi and her return back into the palace because even the only himself we can attest we can attest to that fact that the only himself was furious the only was angry at the fact that Olori had that Pastor Tibetan made a prophecy concerning Olori Naomi that did not come out well. We ignored the consequences, we ignored the bad things that will come with this very return back into the palace. You know, we focused on the good things, and today Olori Aderonka is telling Olori Naomi that her safety in the palace is not guaranteed. And with all of these things put together, with all of these things put together, my people, Olori Naomi has nowhere to run to. If Olori Naomi stays in Akure, this woman will follow her to Akure. If Olori Naomi goes to Abuja, this woman will follow her to Abuja. When she goes to Singapore, it will be like they will be on a flight to follow her to Singapore. Even if they don't, they are warriors, their words, every single thing they own follows Olori Naomi to that place. So my people, there is no better place that Olori Naomi would stay. But if Olori Naomi is staying right there in her husband's house, which is her own his palace, it is still not guaranteed there is no safety attached to it then let the worst happen let all of us see yes my people let it happen let all of us see because as it stands right now no person no even know where to start from where to hold this matter where to pull it over where to even drag the whole thing from person no no but as it stands right now we know we stand with Olori Naomi we the online in law so we stand with Olori Naomi and whatsoever this Olori choose to say let it come to a reality let's see because Olori Naomi the Miriam Olori are they wrong telling Olori Naomi about her safety in the palace. It tells us that these women are definitely up to something else. And whatsoever they are up to, Olori Naomi got God. And God will not let any one of their plans come to pass. Yes, God will not let any of their plans come to pass. My people know this one has to hold on your seat bed tight and wait for what will be the result. Because when these women behave like this, they have a plan plotted out or ready to execute. Lately, we see how none of their plan have gone well, but they keep on doing it. So let's wait and see how they will do this very one. But no matter what happens, once they're inside the palace, I will carry them. Um, sharply come for Ona.